all right everybody welcome back once again to the channel so in today's video i want to do a reaction to another live action uh fan film here i know i said i was done with fan films in my previous videos but i saw this one here and i totally forgot to react to this one and i am really eager to check this one out because uh well for one i'm just i'm a huge fan of um the the live action films that have been you know uh released a few years back with uh with batman and superman um i really did enjoy those even like batman versus superman where you know i know i got a lot of negative reviews um due to like the uh character design of uh what's, it, what's his name um character design of doomsday right and i just i mean i had no problem with it i was actually pretty happy with it i really love the action and the, the way they did it um and then i love the, the man of steel i loved um uh, what's it called the justice league and just the way that ben affleck also portrayed batman was very very dark especially in batman versus superman so uh, i i really really did love that i'm um i also loved um robert pattinson's batman i think he did a great job as a young a younger more gothic uh, version of the Batman character uh, definitely inexperienced still learning you know trying to uh, get more experience under his belt as he gets older but I really really love that movie and the whole uh, take on that as well like the penguin was amazing Colin Farrell as the penguin did such a good job the action scenes were there uh, but I think that obviously that movie that the new one with the Batman with Robert Pattinson was a little bit slower uh, a, little bit, a little bit more of a slow burn but I think it was great storytelling um, with the character of the Riddler and with uh, well the actor that does Riddler is, is a really good actor as well I don't even know what his name is but I think he did an amazing job as the Riddler uh, but the Colin Farrell as the Penguin just I mean nailed it you know immediately got the, got the part I mean I think he just did he was so unrecognizable as the Penguin so I think he did a really good job and I enjoyed all of those movies so far that I've seen I think the ones that I was like eh, you know he did all right was with um, the the dark knight uh what's his name i can't remember his name at the moment but the dark knight the actor that played him he he was he was good i mean i think he uh he did a lot of action scenes in there but i think his like the voice the way he did the voice of the batman was definitely used as memes a lot and as comedy a lot so yeah i think he he kind of did a little too much with the voice uh, but i think one of my favorite films for that for the trilogy of of uh that batman was uh the second one with the joker because of heath ledger's performance that one stood out to me the most uh so yeah i mean there's just all of these live action movies that i've seen i love realism you know as, as i always mention as an artist here so i'm always investing into live action more than uh more than comic books and more than cartoons and i know again like the original sources are there and all these things but i just really love to see live performances more than anything uh a lot of times a lot of the time so uh, with that said, I want to jump into this one here. Uh, th this one is called uh, Batman and Superman versus Darth Vader. Okay, and it is live action and it is by Bat in the Sun. Okay, so if you guys want to check it out on your own, I will link the dis uh, I will link the video down below in the description area, and you guys can click on it on your own time there and check it out if you'd like to. Or you can watch me react to this video, and I can give you guys my thoughts right after it. All right, so why don't we go ahead and jump in? And again, if you guys have comments or anything you guys want to share, please don't hesitate to drop it down below in the comment section and I will reply to you guys as soon as I see it and as soon as I get the chance, all right? Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this and see what we think. Is that Batman? It's Batman! Wow! That's no move. Initiate cloaking wow, mode. look at that, just like Ben Affleck's Batman right there. He looks like Ben Affleck too, a little bit. There he is. Oh, he looks huge. Older Batman look too. Older experienced Batman. Oracle. I've located Superman. Excellent. Then it looks like you're good to go. There's something else I need. Look at that's crazy, man. This is all taking place in I think the Star the um, My Lord, senses the Star Wars, Wars universe. In your armor. He's here for the Kryptonian. Lockdown cell blocks three and four. 
and leave the rest to me. Vader. Wow, imagine them in a fight, dude. Darth Vader and the I'm Batman, both like dark characters. You've made a mistake coming here. Release Superman. Why are you still here? Oh. You do not know the power of the dark side. <laughs> I'll take my science over your magic any day. Let's see how well you breathe now. Beautiful. The force will sustain me long enough. Exactly. Better focused on you than me. Oh my god! I underestimate nothing. Oh, get that shot, man. Wow. It's like they read my mind right now. This is so good. Ooh, I'm right behind the leg. Behind the leg. Oh my god. Zenus wasted your opportunity to defeat me. Now you will die. Oh no. What? It's Batman, dude. You can't die. Your theatrics will not help you. How's this for theatrics? Oh, the voice. <laughs> wow. He's controlling his ship! I was like, he's a, he has to control that, right? He controls a lot of things, though. There's a distraction. Oh my god! Oh my god! Thanks, Bruce. Not the Man of Steel. I owe you. Their voices are so. <laughs> wow, dude. What are you? I'm Batman. Oh my god. All right, you guys, there you have it. That is Batman and Superman versus Darth Vader. Uh, so let's talk about everything that was just beautiful in this short fan film. Um, there is actually little to nothing that I had a problem with in this short that I saw. Uh, mostly everything I really loved, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I really enjoyed. So, uh, I mean, for one, the setting. I was definitely surprised on the setting, on how real it looked. Uh, some of you guys who have more familiarity with um, with settings or with sets or things that they used, like, you know, props they used and things like that. Um, where, where was this taking place? How did they get the set? Because uh, uh, this was just really realistic. I mean, just like like movie level. You know what I mean? So I really loved this. Uh, how real it looked and the darkness of the environment was just spot on like an actual big budget film it definitely felt like a batman environment you know and this is what a lot of uh the dceu films have been failing to accomplish um 
not the environment necessarily because they've been doing a really good job with like Ben Affleck's Batman mostly uh, and then uh, with Robert Pattinson's Batman as well uh, I think the other one uh, crit well what's his name can't even think of his name right now uh, the the Dark Knight his environments were uh, they were all right I think uh, a lot of the action scenes were great in those films but I think and the, envir the environments didn't feel as dark as I wanted them to be um, but yeah, with the other two Batman that I saw, the last movies, the last actors for the Batman did a really good job. And so this film here, it felt like that. They think they did a good job with with that, you know? Let's talk about the acting. Now, I appreciate how close it was to the animated shows that I've seen, like the Batman's voice, um, even the suit itself. I mean, it was very much like Ben Affleck suit, I should say. I mean, that was probably the best one I've seen. The darkest, most grittiest depiction of Batman, very bulky, uh, you know, uh, an, an old looking suit very gr in like the gray right the, the the gray and the black uh they didn't put the yellow on him i don't think but the gray and the black almost like the old batman uh, i think that was like the best interpretation the the best depiction of batman i think that was just such so i think like this suit this suit was very much like ben affleck's and uh, maybe a little bit like the animated shows that i've seen as well and i think they was they just nailed it with the suit it was beautifully designed uh, the mask was definitely the one that looked so close to Ben Affleck's mask. Even like his face, the, the, the actor's face, and the voice. Uh, yeah, once again, it was so close. So much like the animated Batman voice that I always hear in like the cartoons. Or even in the games, right? Like the Arkham, the Arkham Knight games that I've seen or that I've played. Uh, I, I can't believe how close it was to that. Now, Superman, the Superman actor, I feel like also his voice was very much like the animated uh, series voice, you know, like the animated Superman's voice. Um, it was very close to that, and I can't believe how well they, they got it. I don't know if this was dubbed. I can't even, I couldn't even tell. That's how good it was. And I, oh, I don't know if the actors were actually talking this way. Like, there's a scene where uh, Superman is interacting with Batman, but uh, obviously he comes out at the very end of the film here. Uh, but he's interacting with Batman as, as he's turning his back to him, and Superman's behind him saying, you know, I owe you, right? Um, like, for saving him. And his voice sounds a little dubbed, but I, maybe it's his. I don't. I don't even know. But it just sounded spot on, like the animation, you know, like the animated version of, of uh, Superman. So that was really well done. The suit was really good. Uh, it definitely looked like, um, you know, the old Superman suit, uh, like the very simple colors, but and very bright as well. But I really, really liked it, and I love their whole interaction. The fight scene with Batman and Darth Vader, as soon as I, I can't believe it, as soon as I mentioned like that I imagined seeing them fight, they actually fought. <laughs> and that was just amazing to see. Uh, it was a very good fight, uh, very well choreographed. And I feel like uh, it would have been a little too easy for Batman to beat Darth Vader, knowing uh, like his powers, you know, very close to like Magneto's powers. So I think that that would have been a little tough for Batman to accomplish. But I like realize that Batman is obviously so much smarter than that. And what he was doing was, of course, uh, distracting or, or not distracting, like stalling, I guess, Darth Vader in order to, uh, in order for that bomb, right, to uh, explode and save Superman out of wherever he was trapped, you know, for that bomb to activate so they can explode and get them get him out of there. So I thought that was such well writing. I mean, I can't, I didn't even expect that. That was totally a plot twist for me, and I just think they did a good job, like with just the dialogue, the writing. The writing for the dialogue, the acting, uh, even the way that the Batman actor was walking, right? Very tough, very brutal. I love that whole depiction of Batman. Very close to Ben Affleck's once again. And even Arkham Knights and the animated series Batman. I mean, I just, I cannot believe how close this was to him. And then, uh, of course, as well as Superman, he's very, very good. I, I mean, I think Batman stood out to me the most. I'll be honest there. But, Bat I mean, Superman's... Uh, depiction like the actor that that played Superman I think he did such a good job as well just because they showed a little bit of him at the end but I mean if I would have seen more I know I would have, have, have thought just the same for him I think both actors were very good and of course the Darth Vader actor also did an amazing job and uh, I think this was so close to the films the way they portrayed Darth Vader as well in the live-action films very very close and I can't believe how much it felt like an actual full-length film uh, I hope that you know this this channel here bat in the sun uh like grows to exceeding levels of popularity so to where the point where they can make a full-length film with all of this talent that they have this is really really good i mean this 
I cannot believe how good this was. So if you guys really love this content or if you guys love my reaction as well to this, please give this video a thumbs up, you guys, and don't forget to share and don't forget to drop a comment down below the video. Let me know what you guys thought about this. If something stood out to you that, that, that I did not mention, please let me know what it was. Uh, if I was wrong about something, let me know what it was. I mean, totally open to, to other people's opinions. Um, I totally respect that, but um, just be polite, of course. Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe to Bat in the Sun. Okay, I cannot leave that out. This this channel is amazing. It has an amazing uh, group of people that are very talented, and I've seen how many more videos they have with like other characters from the MCU, from DCU, and I cannot wait to see that. I, I can't wait to see more of their content. So uh, let me know, you guys, if you know other channels related to this one, or, or you know anything that's exactly like this. It could be live action, animated. It could be horror. Anything like that. Just recommend it down below, you guys. I would really appreciate it. Uh, but that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching with me. And I hope you guys have a great day. Take care of yourselves. Peace.